People often ask, what can I do to help? There's actually a lot you can do. One everyday thing that people can do to support communities vulnerable to human trafficking is really to make sure you're tipping people in the service industry as generously as possible. So often it's easy to get a cheap sandwich in a deli or a really well-priced manicure, and it's important to value that labor as well as we can. Another everyday way that we can support communities vulnerable to human trafficking is to really be conscious of the conversations we have and the jokes that we make. That shame and that stigma is absolutely felt and it makes it that much more difficult for trafficking survivors and anyone else facing exploitation to reach out for support and connect for services and help. If I had one wish for the world, it would really be for them to have an open mind and to have an open heart. Being more questioning in terms of what you are being fed through the media, through other people, and creating your own knowledge path. Be a media activist. When you see a story online that doesn't tell the whole picture about trafficking or isn't very nice about how it talks about survivors, write a letter to the editor, include a comment under the article, hold the media accountable. If you have an unlimited Metro card, you can swipe somebody through when you're exiting the subway station. And I mention this because it sounds like a small thing, but it's actually hugely helpful for homeless youth that may be experiencing or at risk for trafficking. If a community member thinks that they're seeing a trafficking situation, and they're not, but they're not seeing a violent crime committed in front of them at that moment, they should call a, a known and trusted human trafficking organization, which could be a Freedom Network organization or a New York Anti-Trafficking Network organization. We'll always be happy to help navigate what should happen next in those situations. What can you do to combat human trafficking? You can roll up your sleeves and start doing some anti-poverty work. Um, and this is across disciplines and sectors. Uh, try to make sure that we have improved economic conditions and access to justice. Um, join the fight for a living wage. Engage in criminal justice reform. Think about who we're arresting in this country and why and what that impact has. Um, do anything that you can in your respective field to make sure that people are less vulnerable to exploitation, abuse, and trafficking. One thing that folks can do to support survivors of human trafficking is to donate directly to organizations who are providing services to survivors of human trafficking. While we all want to rush in and offer whatever support we can, sometimes the best help that we can give is to provide resources to those organizations who are already doing that work on the ground. If you're doing any of this work, you're already fighting trafficking. But don't stop there. Ask others to join, grow the movement, and together we can end trafficking.